Uh, welcome to this session with um, me, your Learning Technology Coordinator, Michael. Um, this week we're going to have a look at uh, Google Docs and specifically uh, templates. We're looking at um, how you can use and also create your own templates. Um, and I'm going to show you some examples of templates that I've created um, and look at some of the reasons for why you would be using templates. Um, so first of all, I just want to show you uh, with my docs here that I have uh, basically a few templates that I've been working on lately. These are templates that I use um, throughout different classes um, and I use them as templates because they're something that I use quite frequently. So um, for example, I want to show you this, this table here that I've got. This is called um, the ISFAPS and I use this um, in Cole. Uh, but I also use it throughout um, with my English classes and we basically use this to analyze um, issues in news sources. So um, it's a simple table uh, with a nice little acronym going down. We've got I for issues, S for speaker, V for views, A alternatives, problems and solutions. And basically this is just a blank table that um, I have turned into a template so that any student at Caroline Chisholm if they would like to, can simply open up um, this table and use it whenever they want. Um, now that's using Google Docs and um, you can also create templates in other programs like here. I've got a three-way Venn diagram and I've created this with Google Drawing. Okay, now it's a little bit um, out of whack because I've just been playing around with it lately. But um, you can see here uh, this is pretty much a simple three-way Venn diagram and um, basically students can use this as a template and then insert into it things like text boxes uh, where they can write um, what they want to write and um, basically just, just start to fill this in, use it for themselves. Um, they can also then uh, share this with the teacher or share this with other students and collaborate on it um, and it's basically good to go. So how does that work then once you've created a template and kids open it up? Well I'll show you how easy it is, right? Um, now imagine that I'm a student, right, and I don't actually have sitting in my docs um, all these tables and templates and things that I just showed you. Well what I've done is I've actually uploaded them to the template library at Carolyn Chisholm so that any student can just access that when they go to create new over here all they need to do is select this little link here that says from template and they click on that and basically that takes them to the Caroline Chisholm College templates and these are templates that at the moment I've uploaded and there's been a couple um, from people in the ICT groups as well like Virginia um, and Laura uh, both of whom have uploaded tables and things that they use uh, in their classes. So you can see it's really, really easy. So Bajen has uploaded this seven science vertebrate table and if I simply want to use that I just go use this template and um, basically it opens up. Now it, what it does is actually makes a copy of that. So what I now have here is my very own copy of Bajena's vertebrate table. So it's ready to go um, and she's even put some instructions in there on what I can do with this particular template. Okay, um, I could try another one. Um, you can see here there's more tables. There's the Venn diagrams that I was showing you before. A um, couple of tables for connected learning. And you can see there's a whole range of them and I'm starting to set up categories. So over here we've got thinking scaffolds and clicking on that just shows the thinking scaffolds. 